an invisible bond that connects us. The 15th meridian east, from minus 50 to plus 50 degrees Celsius, it unites all the climate zones of the Earth. People and places that could not be more different, connected by a common daily rhythm. After all, the time of day on the 15th meridian is always the same from Svalbard to Namibia. A day on the 15th meridian, different worlds at exactly the same time. The animals that can be found along the 15th meridian are as diverse as the landscapes which they inhabit. What living conditions do they encounter in the heat of the Namibian Damara land, in the flourishing upper Lusatia, or on the coast of Norway? From the northernmost to the southernmost point, what challenges do both humans and animals have to master together? The animal world. The day begins on the 15th degree of Meridian East, a German bat expert in Austria, a himba elephant aficionado in Namibia, a Croatian researching bears in the forest, a Dutch whale specialist in Norway. Manchmal lasse ich mich einfach treiben von den Geräuschen der Natur und da geht mir gar nicht so durch den Kopf. Und ein andermal, ja, dann versucht man über sich selbst mal ein bisschen nachzudenken, was läuft falsch, was läuft richtig oder was kann man ändern. Und es gibt keinen schöneren Ort, darüber nachzudenken wie in der Natur. Six o'clock in the morning in Namibia, Damara land, a region south of the Atashapan. Hendrik's daily routine starts before sunrise but he gets to work outdoors and against the backdrop of the Brandberg Mountain. He's an elephant tracker from the north of the country. He puts his special skills into practice in service of an elephant protection organization. <laughs> The Mars-like rocky landscapes lies in central Namibia, the dry riverbed of the Yugab, which sometimes carries water during the rainy season. Runs through the semi-desert, both baboons and the Damara shepherds like it here. At the end of a sandy road lies the camp of the Elephant Protection Organization, Elephant Human Relations Aid, ERA for short. ERA works to cultivate a peaceful coexistence between elephants and humans. Hendrik Manimboma has been working for the organization since 2008. Today, he wants to pass on some of his knowledge to his son, Emke. As is traditional for the Himba, Hendrik assumed responsibility for the welfare of the family from an early age. <laughs> Hendrik 
Hendrik belongs to the Himba tribe, a pastoral people with a deep understanding of nature and remarkable tracking skills. At Era, his job is to go on wild game patrols and to check in with the inhabitants of the sparsely populated area. A few days ago, a Damara settlement was attacked by a couple of elephants. The people there feared for their lives and supplies. Hendrik investigates the incident. How many elephants were involved? Will they continue to be a threat in the future? <laughs> A woman of the village explains that it was a herd of elephants. One of the big elephants had a hole in his ear. The Damara belong to the poorest ethnic groups in Namibia. Their goats and their extensive stalks are essential for survival. Okay. The elephants have long since moved on. Hendrik and Emke will follow them through Namibia's savanna. Will they find the elephant with the hole in its ear? At the same time, at the opposite end of the 15th meridian, on the Vesteralen, a group of islands north of the Lofoten. Martin Brill from the Netherlands has made his way to the sleepy town of Andines. Martin was a successful IT manager in Holland, earning a top income. He had to start all over again on the Vesteralen with small temporary jobs in the harbor. He has now been living in Andines for 13 years. His daughter Femke has come to visit, and Martin wants to show his four-year-old grandson Sver whales for the first time. Oh, yeah. You see the island? You all the gender people, family. Begin where it's difficult. You have to learn the language. You have to come in the samfund. First, he lived here with his whole family. 
but his wife moved back to the Netherlands after just one year. Nevertheless, for Martin, the indomptable nature of the archipelago is now his home. From uh, Novi Airpo Harvard, have we, uh, have we free? Uh, have we any stress in the telephone? Uh, have we a lot with uh, nature? Uh, have we a lot with walen? Yeah, fjell, uh, fantastic omraden. Uh, so also, they also for a photograph had a weird dog and it for the uh, fine builder. Like on a safari in the steppe, Martin looks for animals, but here in the water. And just like on land, it's always a game of chance. For Sverre, it is the first tour with his grandfather. After a good 30 minutes, the time has come. A mighty sperm whale surfaces. Jobben met walen er voor ene zijde een uitvordering. Die er is afvogelijk in natuur. Walen er heel speciaal. Die er stoer, die er fantastisch. Ja, dat er als of voor ons er werkgang een fantastisch oplevert. Oplevert zo jobben met spekwoken, met spermacetwal, soms weer harde mesten. Ja, yeah, maar ook andere slags uh, walen. Daar daar kampen interessant. Hè. Je 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 also uh, lit uh, adrenaline uh, vinden walen. Off the coast of the Westerallen, the continental shelf drops 2000 meters. The 20 meter long animals can dive that deep without any problem. They find plenty of prey in the deep dark sea. Cuttlefish and giant squid. René Schleichardt lives in the upper Lusatia, directly on the river Neisse, the natural border between Germany and Poland. He's on the hunt for a special animal. Along with patience and luck, he needs a well-chosen site. Ich kenne hier ein Geheimnis schon seit meiner Kinderzeit. Hier gibt es noch den seltenen Eisvogel. Und wenn man sich ganz leise verhält, dann kann man den auch beobachten und mal vorbeifliegen sehen. Also der Eisvogel ist schon, ich meine, hat es viele Jahre nicht mehr gegeben, weil die Neise ziemlich verdreckt gewesen ist durch die Abwässer von den Feldern und so. Und es hat sich in den letzten Jahren ein bisschen gebessert. Irgendwann bin ich durch diesen einmaligen Ton, den der Eisvogel beim Kommunizieren verwendet, diese Vogelstimme, ja, äh, bin ich darauf aufmerksam geworden und habe ihn dann dadurch wieder entdeckt. Also ich bin diesem, dieser Vogelstimme nachgegangen und habe dann irgendwann äh, die Brutröhre hier entdeckt. Und das war wie für mich wie ein Sechser im Lotto. René Schleichardt has been a nature lover since childhood. The kingfishers can build their nests in the steep bank of the Nice River. From there, they can spot their prey, preferably small fish. At the age of six, René received a camera as a gift from his grandmother. From then on, he photographed everything that came in front of his lens. This childhood memory shaped him. Ich habe immer versucht, irgendwie diese Eindrücke irgendwo ein Stück weit festzuhalten. Ich wollte was Visuelles, wie ich mich mitteilen kann und wie ich das den anderen Leuten zeigen kann, was ich empfunden habe, als ich da draußen in der Natur gewesen bin. Und irgendwann habe ich dann die Fotografie für mich entdeckt. Meanwhile, he has taken around 10,000 photographs. In the coming years, he wants to publish them in a book. For the native Gerlitzer, nature and photography are something that allows him to escape from his stressful everyday life as a geriatric nurse. At the same time, in Styria, the green lung of Austria, Oliver Gephardt is on his way to the most romantic castle in the federal province. Schloss Herberstein, where little nighttime creatures 
live in the dark corners of the 14th century walls. Oliver knows exactly how to find them. Fledermäuse leben irgendwie allgegenwärtig um uns herum, aber wir kriegen von denen eigentlich gar nichts mit. In Austria, Oliver has found a new home. He's the project manager of the Young Styrian Nature Conservationists and a freelance biologist. He is responsible for documenting the bat population in the region. Fledermäuse sind sehr wichtig fürs Ökosystem, aber auch sehr empfindliche Tierarten. Sie reagieren sehr schnell auf Umweltfaktoren wie Gifte in der Natur und auch auf Quartierverlust und auf Störungen. Und deshalb ähm, muss man halt schauen, dass das den Fledermäusen auch gut geht. There are nearly 20 species here in the region that constitutes a good two-thirds of the native bat species. Alle Fledermausarten sind in Europa streng geschützt und da muss der Bestand überwacht werden. Und da haben wir so ein paar wichtige Quartiere, die wir dann jedes Jahr zählen, wo besondere Fledermausarten vorkommen. Und das machen wir schon über, über Jahre hinweg. Und so können wir dann auch sehen, ob der Bestand zunimmt oder abnimmt. Simultaneously, in the deep forest, in the Plitvice Lakes Croatian National Park, bear expert Jura Huber is searching for the brown giants. I certainly have something to tell you, the teddy bear. Every child has been born in a medjuj lutkic, and I have such a child in my childhood. And my child has some more pain in the mind of many people than other lives. And then, of course, when I started to work with the situation, I saw how complex the life of a child is with their own dreams, and with their own body, capabilities, and behaviors, 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 Jura Huber has been conducting a study of brown bears since 1981, which he later extended to lynx and wolves. Since then, the veterinarian has been working on the conservation of these three species in Croatia's most beautiful national park. Today, Juro and two of his doctoral students are looking for one of his protégés. Ali kada jesmo u prirodi, onda naravno su tu, kao što smo i sada, traženje gdje je medvjed bilo u proveo, pokušati ga vidjeti da se vidi da li ženka ima mlade, pokušati naći izmet medvjeda, pa kada ga nađemo, i kada nađemo medvjeđi izmet, da nas je to velika stvar. Jer se iz toga vidi prvo da je tu medvjed bio, pa se vidi šta je jeo, može ga se genetički istraživati i parazite tražiti i sve ostalo. Dakle, u svakom dijeliću medvjeđe aktivnosti, koji mi na terenu možemo prepoznati, imamo predmet našeg interesa. There are up to 1,000 brown bears in Croatia, and Jura does everything he can to keep it that way, although he's already old enough to retire. Counting animals and documenting their movements is the first step. Here, relatively close, there is a place where one of the medvedes, we call it Olana, spent the summer. To nas je vrlo zanimljivo naći mjesto gdje je medvjed proveo zimu. Ako ga nađemo, a nadam se da ćemo naći, onda ćemo ga izmjeriti u točno mjesto gdje se nalazi, okolinu i sam velog dimenzije, jer onda iz toga znamo kako mjesto medvjedi vole da bi proveli zimu. Gdje smo mi? A, to je velog. Tu idemo. Još ima malo, malo za proći. About 8,000 kilometers further south, the search for elephants continues. There are only two desert elephant populations left in the world. One of them is composed of 180 animals in Namibia. About 30 of them live here in the Yugab region of Damaraland, an area larger than Switzerland. 
In this vast expense, it's not easy for Hendrik and his son to get on the trail of the elephant who broke into the Damara camp. First, uh, you find the tracks and you know the direction. And you have to make sure that it's the tracks you need to find this animal or not. How is you try to understand the age of the tracks, how many hours, how many days ago the animal passed there. And uh, if you believe it is more like fresher, then you can also uh, think about uh, the wind direction, where the wind goes and what the wind has done on the tracks. The elephant animal cover um, a big space of land. Then it's sometimes easy for you to think about why other animals didn't walk on it. If it is an animal busy area like baboons, goats, springboks, so they didn't walk on it. So sometimes you follow it for a while until you see either where they broke a tree or where they pee or they poo. Then you can judge, okay, okay, this is useful. They've located the direction in which the pachyderms are traveling. There, suddenly there's something to see. Is it the elephant that panicked the villagers? No, it's not him. This one does not have a hole in his ear. Hendrik is happy that it is not the problematic elephant because this is one of the few bulls that is still able to reproduce. They have gotten off track. They need to return to base camp. It's getting too hot. Time for a break. Twelve thirty p.m. The sun has reached its highest point for today. Lunch break on the fifteenth meridian. The small island, Black Soya, is home to 80,000 puffins and lies right in front of Martin's front door, a feast for the sea eagles, who also live here. When Martin isn't working, he loves to spend his time here. Wist du jobben? En uh, jobben hard. En voor je natuurlijk ook uh, respect. Zo so is de zong uh, af en toe heel wanskelijk. Nu no, no, we je drie, vier turen per dag. We hebben in zomer 24 uh, teamen lees hier. Mensen willen gaan uit. 
so we more you then i over season we more prøve å tjene våre uh, penger uh, uh, når de meste mennesker er her. Only 32,000 inhabitants live on the four islands of the Vesteralen. In addition to the midnight sun between May and July, there are ten times as many tourists. They come for the untouched nature and nevertheless contribute thereby to its destruction. René Schleichardt also has similar problems. On the Neisse in Upper Lusatia in eastern Germany, tourists sail across the water on their own. Die Touristik ist nie immer mit dem Naturschutz hier. Sag ich mal, kann man nie so vereinbaren, nie wirklich, weil die Boote rauschen in letzter Zeit jetzt ziemlich oft durch. Der Druck ist zu hoch einfach, es sind zu viele Boote und die Leute sind zu laut und das ist traurig. Weil gerade der Eisvogel ist ein sehr empfindlicher Vogel und der nimmt das irgendwann Störungen über viele Stunden auch mal übel und trauen sich dann immer in die Brutröhre zurück, die Elterntiere, und das kann auch schon mal das Aus und ein Tod für so eine Brut bedeuten. Kingfishers alternate with each brood. When offspring arrive, they stay in the nest for four weeks and then leave, making room for the second brood. This gives René plenty of time to observe the spectacle and share his photos on social media. Ich sehe mich darin, in meiner Aufgabe ein Stück weit den Leuten das bewusst zu machen, inwieweit sie sich besser verhalten könnten der Natur gegenüber. Dass wir diese Kostbarkeit auch noch in vielen, vielen Jahrzehnten weiterhin mit, mit eigenen Augen beobachten können. Meanwhile, in the green treasure trove of Croatia, the Plitvice National Park, Jura and his assistants are still unsuccessful in their search for the bear. They have started using radio telemetry. Pomoću antene pokušavamo dobiti signal koji šalje ogolica koja je među oko vrata. Zato svi mi pomažemo sa ovom ručnom antenom i ovim prijemnikom da čujemo signal, da bi mu pokušali prići da ga vidimo. The National Park is a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site. It covers almost 300 square kilometers. It is now 3 p.m. and they have given up hope of actually finding the bear. But suddenly, the cave. They are overjoyed with the find. There are no bears, but many, many useful traces. Ето наше смово дево кое е одгрижено ту са ове јеле у близини и још нешто грана од јеле. Видите, то су очито медведи че се пенјали на ово дево и вухли су грани у белог да се направи лежај. Но женка, мајка се не би пенјала овако високо на дево да откине. Браун bears mate in May or June. When the first snow falls, the pregnant females retreat into rock caves or dig out a place for themselves in the mountainside in order to hole up and hibernate. In Germany, the brown bear population has disappeared. In Eastern Europe, however, they are gaining ground. Lepe šume i vidjeli smo znakove medvjeda, znakove tragove kuda je hodao, našli smo mjesto izmeta, ali nismo uspjeli doći dovoljno blizu do medvjedice koje ima ogolicu i nismo je uspjeli vidjeti. I taj dan nije propao jer smo dosta toga naučili o staništu medvjede, uzeli smo i neke uzorke, na taj način namo više o kvaliteti staništa za medvjede u našom parku Plitiške jezera. Juro has dedicated himself to the bears. It has become his life's work to minimize conflicts between bears and humans and to enable the animals to live an undisturbed existence. I populacija raste zapravo, i to mi se najviše sviđa i to volim hvaliti, što je dobar odnos medvjeda i ljudi u Hrvatskoj. 
ljudi nekako prihvaćaju medvjede i zbog toga se ne bune na taj ras populacije, iako smo svi svjesni da u jednom trenutku ćemo reći jer ne može populacija dalje rasti. Back at the Arab base camp, Hendrik has to take care of the new rivals. The organization is primarily financed by donations from the volunteers who come from all over the world to be here in the Namibian desert. As you can see this one, I think this will be your hotel. The the young people's task is to build walled water points in the remotest corners of Damar land. Hendrik, his son Emke and the junior tracker Adolf set off. They have heard that elephants have destroyed a water point. Elephants can smell water for miles. Of course, it is convenient for them to help themselves to the sources that people also use. To prevent this from happening, the tanks built for people have extra overflow basins where the animals can drink. They are separated by walls that are two meters high. Elephants can suddenly be seen in the distance. They have to hurry to keep up with the herd. Hendrik and his small team have to distribute themselves strategically because the direction in which the herd is running can change at any time. They communicate by using hand signals. What they don't know yet is that the elephant they are looking for is among these animals. When there is an emergency in Graz, Austria, Oliver Gephardt's mobile phone rings. He's always on call. Hello. 
Oliver Geppert? Hallo. Oh, ist sie verletzt? Und wo ist sie jetzt? Ah, in der Box. Passt. Gut. Hallo. Hallo. Du hast schon auf uns gewartet? Ja. Ja. Und da hast du die Federmaus ja. drin. Schauen wir mal. Warte, ich habe auch Handschuhe. Das ist eine Zweifarbfledermaus. Schau. Ja. Und okay. der Flügel war erst ein bisschen umgeknickt, hast ja. du gesagt. Und, aber jetzt sieht es ja wieder ganz gut aus. Ja. Aber wir nehmen sie trotzdem mal mit. Mhm. Ich versuche, Menschen aufzuklären, gerade auch bei der Jugend. Ich bin ja auch bei der Naturschutzjugend aktiv. Da ist es ganz wichtig, dass wir schon die Kinder und Jugendlichen auf die Probleme ähm, aufmerksam machen. Aber nicht nur auf die Probleme, sondern auch in erster Linie auf die Schönheit der Natur dass die Kinder die Natur schätzen lernen und dann werden sie sie auch automatisch hoffentlich auch schützen. Hallo. Hi Olli. Hi. Hallo. Was so. haben wir da wieder? Eine Zweifarbfledermaus. Die wurde auf dem Parkplatz gefunden. Okay. Erst war der Flügel etwas umgeknickt, aber jetzt sieht sie wieder ganz Bats have different habitats in summer than in winter. In winter, for example, they reside in caves and tree trunks, and they live under roof structures or bridges in the summer. If one of these habitats is disturbed, it can lead to serious changes in the population. Wenn es keine Fledermäuse mehr gibt, dann würden wir sehr große Probleme mit ähm, Schädlingen bekommen, gerade so in diesen Monokulturen mit Apfelplantagen und so weiter oder auch manche Schädlinge im Wald, die würden dann schnell mal Überhand nehmen. Und Fledermäuse sind eigentlich dafür sehr wichtig, dass sie die Schädlinge auch ähm, klein halten. At the same time in Gerlitz, René is on his way to his next spot. He wants to get another animal in front of his lens now, the clever fox. These loners are considered to be particularly intelligent. They have adapted well to the increasing urbanization. Wäre, dann wäre ich ein Fuchs. Einfach weil der Fuchs ist ein Überlebenskünstler. Also der Fuchs hat es in der heutigen Gesellschaft ziemlich schwer. Er wird stark behagt und findet trotzdem immer wieder einen Weg, seine Haut zu retten. Back in Croatia. Jur is on his way to the Kutarevo Bear Sanctuary. The shelter for orphaned bears was founded in 2002. Since that time, Juro has offered scientific support on behalf of the veterinary department in Zagreb. He shares his vision of a species-appropriate approach with the director, Ivan. Bears can weigh up to 800 kilograms and can reach a height of up to three meters when they stand upright. They are among the most dangerous animals in the world, and yet 
They feed mainly on tubers, fruits and leaves. Hendrik and his son approach a herd of elephants whose tracks they have been following all day. Before the day is over and they set up camp for the night, he needs to know if the elephant with the hole in his ear is among the pack. Or have they wasted a day following the wrong herd? Sad certainty. The drought of the last few decades has caused problems for the elephant. The Yugab no longer forms as many water points as it used to. Hendrik's most important task is explaining to people that elephants don't want to hurt them. They are simply on a desperate search for water. Hendrik teaches the villagers how to behave when they come into contact with the gentle giants so that the animals don't have to die unnecessarily. In case of an uh, incident where an elephant broke in somebody's house and it carries on and on until it becomes a threat to the community living with elephants. So then we need to take this elephant away. So we need to take one that is responsible for that. That's only to solve the problem. Identifying the right elephant is very important. Hendrik has to share his results with the Namibian Ministry of Environment and Tourism which then decides what happens to the elephant. The elephant is either chased away or, in particularly serious cases, killed. I'm a lot of people who are living in the world. I'm a lot of people who are living in the world. I'm a lot of people who are living in the world. I'm a lot of people who are living in the world. Hendrik and his companions have to hurry and find a place to stay for the night. The sun is setting soon. While in Norway, Martin makes his way home in bright daylight thanks to the midsummer sun, nevertheless, it is just as late for him as it is for Hendrik. He also has to document his observations.
Nou, weet u, we jobben samen met Forsker en oh, die wil gerne weten uh, hoe lang uh, die reis, uh, hoe zijn we uh, daar. Ook, ook, we zijn wel in Nigeria om uh, ons op welke waarde komen te bokken daar hoor. Uh, en ja, je dat nu al meer dan tien jaar. Zo dat is wel die interessant om te zeggen van hey, van uh, de heer uh, Jen, uh, dat heb je geen, uh, geen waarde. Whale safaris are also a form of animal protection because they provide jobs for people who used to engage in hunting the sea giants. So for me, we have here a lot of whales. Now you come here to the top of the sea, where you also have a lot of whales. But in the top of the sea, you live here now. You live here, you have a part of the world that is normal. Dat die spieze wal ook, ja, kan je daar raakt of zee, zo, zo du, du leer o, o lief, daar een deel van cultuur. Eight p.m. Evening falls on the 15th meridian. While it is time to set up camp in Namibia, in Austria, the most important working time for Oliver Gephardt, the bat expert, is just beginning. Together with his colleagues, he wants to catch bats today. Maybe some rare species will fall into their nets. Wir sind jetzt hier in der Peckauer Wand und die ist sehr berühmt für ihr Fledermausartenreichtum. Jede Fledermaus, die wir fangen, die markieren wir hier mit der weißen Farbe an einer Kralle, mit einem kleinen Tropfen, damit wir sie wiedererkennen, wenn wir die Fledermaus noch mal im Netz haben. Dann wissen wir, die haben wir schon gefangen, die brauchen wir nicht normal vermessen. Lassen wir gleich wieder frei. The Pegau face is a steep sloping wall with many caves, a paradise for bats. Wir haben ein Netz aufgestellt ähm, im Höhlenportal und warten jetzt darauf, dass die Fledermäuse in die Höhle rein- und rausfliegen. Und dann hoffen wir, dass sie auch in das Netz reinfliegen, damit wir sie fangen. The small nocturnal animals are measured and weighed. The researchers also determine which species occur there. Bats find it increasingly difficult to find a home, because their habitats are often sealed over with concrete. Pass, bei beiden gleich. Ist das? Na, na, die ist zu klein für die Rauhaut. Wir haben gerade auch bei uns, obwohl wir ja strenge Naturschutzgesetze haben, trotzdem irrsinnig viele Arten auf der roten Liste der gefährdeten Tierarten, deren Lebensraum trotzdem ungebremst kleiner wird. Wir leben hier nicht in einem Paradies, wo die Natur erhalten bleibt. Sie wird trotzdem noch überall ähm, reduziert und versiegelt. Oliver's wife Claudia often comes along. He accompanied her through a severe bout of cancer. That made them inseparable. Heim er wo kärlichkeit er, so der ist für mich wichtig. Ich fühle mich nur mal, ich fühle mich in England, ich fühle mich mehr ja bo Europa, auch ja ja bo hier in Werde, wie Mujer alle alle zusammen, wie bo hier in bo in Jur, auch wie Mujer vorsichtig mit Or dan wie we we boer boer dan je moet. Je moet er heel in naar de Nederlandse voetbal. Interesseert in de Nederlandse voetbal, zo je hij van Nederland.
Tiere haben ein absolutes Recht auf ihr Dasein und das sollte man absolut respektieren. Wir Menschen dürfen uns nicht über die Tiere stellen. Night has fallen on the 15th meridian east, the end of a long day for its inhabitants. Lighting the fire now. Time for fire. I'm by the good year. Nanda good year. I'm Mokuti. Me ulo kulala pokati ko ko donge no no donyoka mauvi. Anda when by the way good year. Mokuti wala muzi sokukala. No visi tumbi abu sokukala. You know the mepe al helala now. Five people from five countries, some of them live thousands of kilometers away from each other. And yet, they are all united by their love of animals. And of course, the meridian on which they live, which causes their daily routines to take place at the same time. <laughs> 